Today we're in the smoke shack and we're going to dehydrate some wild ramps. To start with, we're just going to remove these bulbs from the greens, or at least for the most part, and we're going to set those aside. And then we're going to just cut these greens into about one inch strips. And we're going to lay these out so that they can dry as quickly as possible. We want to dehydrate these completely. So once we've quartered that out, again, with the greens of the ramps, we just laid our quartered bulbs out and we're going to get these in the oven. Now in this case, we're using an oven that's set at 165 degrees and we're going to turn that down in one hour and we're going to dry these up completely. Our oven is a convection oven so it takes about two to three hours to get them to the point that they're very dry. In my opinion, uh, when we grind these, they'll literally turn to powder. So we're just going to lay these out so that they get as much airflow around them as quickly as possible and remove any of the browning leaves. These were late season harvested ramps. So these uh, were just about ready to lay their leaves down and uh, we're going to get these dehydrated. So all I'm actually doing here is I'm just taking the bulb and I'm more or less just quartering it. So that they're easier to handle because ultimately I'm going to probably use these in a salt grinder. So once they're dehydrated we want small enough pieces that I can put them in a salt grinder with some sea salt and we can have ramped sea salt. In an upcoming video we'll look at doing smoked sea salt with ramps. So once we've quartered that out, again with the greens of the ramps, we just laid our quartered bulbs out and we're going to get these in the oven. Now in this case, we're using an oven that's set at 165 degrees and we're going to turn that down in one hour and we're going to dry these up completely. Our oven is a convection oven so it takes about two to three hours to get them to the point that they're very dry. In my opinion, uh, when we grind these, they'll literally turn to powder. So we've taken these ramps out of the oven and they're perfect. There's no moisture left in them and they're, I don't know if the fans, if you can even hear that, but they're dry and they literally just turn to powder. Even the bulbs are very brittle and completely dry. And so what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna transfer this to any airtight container. And you can either crush these, use them just like you would crush dried chives, or you can transfer these to a blender and turn them into a powder uh, that makes them very easy to constitute and utilize in all kinds of recipes. So we're going to get these put away for storage. So there you have it. Dehydrated wild ramps. It's just really no... Uh, more sustainable way to preserve your wild edibles or any of your vegetables and edibles than dehydration and this is a very sustainable food source that we can put away and use nearly indefinitely.